Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our new segment for Shikimiki, and it's a podcast, a podcast for all things football. I'm your host, Kozo, and I'm here joined by Koda. Hello. Say hello, Koda. How yeah. you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, we started this podcast because we, we just love football, right? Yep. And we play FIFA. Uh, I, I I play like a b- budget version <laughs> of FIFA, but you know, we all we all play FIFA, you know, FC, whatever you want to call it. I will let this and, slide. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if you haven't noticed, I'm a Spurs fan. And I'm a Barca um, fan. Yep. And we're here too, you know share our thoughts and opinions and also just you know up- upload weekly about everything related to football and shall we start you're just calling us pundit we're we're we're, we're, we're the pundits baby Let's the go. budget pundits <laughs> budget pundits yeah <laughs> okay so this week it's a good week too you know it's a good time to start for well, the nationals yeah 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 um Today is Thursday, um, uh, what is it called? Fucking ninth. So this week, uh, we had the national, the AFCON and the Asia cup. Yep. And surprise, surprise, Jordan defeated South Korea 2-0 as well, as well. That's what shocked. Like, I didn't expect that. Also, I thought this, and they're actually taking the, and if you think about their FIFA ranking, they're only like <clears throat> 87. They're considered like the. A bit above underdogs, but still not a big team yet. Because, mm. like, uh, within Asia, Jordan is, isn't exactly, like, prestigious or high high ranking at oh, all. Hell no, hell no. They are playing good football in the recent mm-hmm. years. I cannot, like, I won't cap with that. They're actually doing good in uh-huh. the recent years. And when I, I actually don't follow Jordan, but when I saw the highlights, I was like, the fuck am I watching? Yeah, so, yeah, I, I don't follow Jordan, obviously. And um, the... Asia Cup, you know, they have a lot bunch of like other countries as Bro, well. Bro, like there's over two hundred. <laughs> this is Palestine as well. Palestine actually played pretty well. I think they Palestine got is actually style. doing good with all the struggles they're yeah. going through. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, have exactly. huge so respect towards props. Them. Yeah, props to them with all the distraction <laughs> and destruction. <laughs> so that's that's really admir- admirable. I have huge um, respect for what they're doing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're co-oping up with sure. And then yeah. <laughs> India, India out just just straight off they couldn't even finish the group as a, a group I think well or bottom or something like that I'm I'm not sure I don't I don't even follow them anymore they should win right like they have two what two billion people <laughs> here is the thing I don't know you like I don't know how to say it but to me I feel like when Bangladesh is in that peak form they can take down India and they did multiple times in the past few years it was a very close once match once we have like better uh, facilities honestly like we need better facilities and obviously the new stadium is gonna be built <laughs> my brother we, uh, we have the budget Guardiola and he's doing his job <laughs> we got the budget Guardiola Cabrera <laughs> Cabrera yeah, my brother uh, yeah um, Spanish well, as a Spurs fan I'm kind of devastated because son you know my boy yeah but they lost Although he scored a banger last week against uh, uh, Australia, and don't, knocked him out. Uh, don't worry, he's used to it. I I know <laughs> UCL final, haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny. Um, so yeah, and also Iran, they got knocked out by Qatar. Well, that's I <clears throat> honestly, I mean, I all to me, Qatar is kind of overrated team, so it's kind of shocks me that, that Iran lost. Yeah, because I think Iran I also remember, defeated Japan. If I'm not wrong, they did. They did. They did knock out Japan, which I was like, "What?" And Japan defeated Germany, like literally trashed them. I know. I think Iran. I feel like they're very inconsistent with what they do. They're a very good team. Yes, they got like Asmun and Taremi. If this you know. is what I honestly believe in Asian teams. What I saw in Jordan was a good team quality play, but a lot of big teams lack that consistently. Well, and that's what like, make them fall. <laughs> also, like the thing about Jordan, right? Last month, I, I was just hearing how bad their defense was. And now they're in the fucking final somehow. I'm like, what? <laughs> I honestly saw the like highlights and I won't make much comment, but to me, 
a lot of the Korean defenders seem kind of like Harry Maguire. Like they just forgot I mean, how they, to they defend. Ca- they felt felt kind of slow and lackluster. Like this match, especially. Here's the thing. Before they were fine. Like they're all okay. If but you, this match, if you try to intercept the ball, and if you fell, that's a different scenario. But if you just mm-hmm. let them slide by, like you know, you can go, man. Yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll talk about that that part as well later down as well. Um, ahem, Premier League. <laughs> so yeah, so the final for uh, Asia Cup it's Qatar and Jordan, which I would not guess. You know, you know. To here's the thing: just, even it's, it's though Jordan is playing really good football, I have seen a mm-hmm. lot of flaws in their game, and to me, Qatar is taking the win. I think Qatar is gonna win. They are the reigning champions as well, right? I, I, the I'm actually years. I'm actually not sure about that, but I, I heard they were the previous one. One I thing really full, full Qatar got after you know spending billions of dollars to get the World Cup, get Xavi under them for so many years, mm. <laughs> is that they gained a bit of stability in their team. Right. That's the only also, thing. Also, from what I remember, Qatar was like shit in the World Cup. They couldn't even qualify like, for the like 2018. Exactly. They they lost every match. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the like they were yeah, they, they were did. underdogs. They, they were underdogs. They're not the other. They're the host. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about before they were host. Yeah, they don't exactly. They have primarily, like high quality you know, teams they primarily anyways. became host because they couldn't qualify for one of the World Cups and that hurted their ego. And they're like, we're gonna splash our money. Now. Let me let me buy it. Let me buy it. Let me buy the World Cup. <laughs> money buys happiness. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, man. Yeah. So they're in the final, and who else is fighting the final? It's sure. Afcon. Oh, you mean Afcon? Just yeah, yeah, Afcon. Well, before we go to the final in Afcon, the the Nigerians defeated South Africa on penalties, which was a really f- fun penalty as well. The goalkeeper for Nigeria saved like two really man good just, uh, penalties. I think men took personal lessons from Amy Martinez. Honestly, some Bono Bono expects you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like both combinations together with that yeah, height, yeah, yeah. like six like, four. Well, I wouldn't say Emiliano Martinez because Martinez is a fucking shit houser. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but he man has some like penalty skills. He cannot deny that. He, yeah, he's like really good at it. Like I don't know how he just turns like Prime Yashin or something in penalty. Prime Yashin, <laughs> Ballon d'Or winner. I mean, he was pretty close. <laughs> well, yeah. And then and if you're talking the, about like what could I say? South Africa had a good run. We have to give him the credit. They did. Right they now. also knocked out uh, Egypt on in quarterfinals. So that was pretty impressive. Uh, Mo Salah with another bender. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Egypt is basically a one man team, and then Salah got injured, so they don't exactly have much there. They didn't have the pharaoh to carry them. <laughs> they don't have the pharaoh to carry them. <laughs> They can't spend money either. What will they spend it on? You know the richest, the richest man in Egypt owns, uh, I think Fulham. I don't think it's Fulham. Uh, could be Brentford or Fulham. Okay, I, I'm not sure. It's one of those ones. The richest the one owns a mid table club. Well, yeah. <laughs> A man can spend money I there. Mean, if... Technically, even if you own a mid table club in the Premier League, that's pretty high. Here's the thing, owning the those clubs in, won't like define your country football. If you own a country football, you have to give in facilities and time and with like proper support. Yes. And that's what Goodness. gives you the results. If you think about it properly. And I there's have... also like the hmm? FFP breaches as well, like Nottingham and uh, Everton are facing. Oh, Everton is just facing again and again. <laughs> Everton is a type of club who probably did something in the past life to Premier League or something. I don't know. And they're Jordan like, said. I will like, I will make sure you relegate. Really That's my final <laughs> wish. Premier League just doesn't like Everton. <laughs> like, why are you here? You don't deserve a spot. I actually like Sean Dyche, the manager. We'll just talk like this. Yeah. Oh my we'll just like, oh. <laughs> So you there, like football? I sport I, I, I watched some few animated funny football videos, and they mm. made Sean dies in such a funny way. If you saw this, and you would understand. I haven't seen it. I, I think I, I think I know what you mean. Those those cart, like cartoony ones on yep, YouTube. Yep, they are really funny. 
Like, yeah. they lost their quality now in the recent years, so I'm not going to cap with that, but they were That's funny. probably why I don't watch them anymore. <laughs> I still watch some of them because some of them mm. are still good because they make good content for the ones which are, like, really big topics. Yep. But if I'm talking about other ones, nah, they just let it slide. They're like, they they make now paid contents, like, mm. you know, the new rule in YouTube, which I really hate. Mm-hmm. And they make good content for the paid ones. And for this one, they just fuck it up. I'm like, I'm I'm not interested in anyone. Let's fuck that shit. Right. It's kind of annoying how a lot of things have become like, oh, there's a free trial and there's like a paid version, which is better. I get it. But like, why dim down? I just sometimes feel like there like should be... If I were to make like a... Like without like over-investing, right? You, you don't want to make the free version too good, right? Mm-hmm. So I would make the free version like smaller in size, but the same quality. If you look at FIFA... And the paid right. version is like an extended version, better in some aspects as well. And in I think game be quality, better. if you talk about it, it's FIFA. I mean, FC, FC, no, FC 24. <laughs> FC 24... Oh my god. I like in Reddit I recently saw somebody spend three thousand pounds to buy packs. Three thousand pounds. Yeah, and he didn't get a single team of the year. Oh I'll be pissed, bro. I, I, you can't even get a refund. <laughs> Forget a refund. He got all shit cards. Like all of them are like fodders. The fodders. Yep. Yeah. And I was just laughing when I was like when I saw that post. I'm like he, they just were in bold letters that mm. won't spend money on FIFA. It's a scam. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, Afcon, Nigeria versus I- I- Ivory Coast. Who do you think is gonna win? Nigeria versus Ivory Coast. Here's the Côte thing. D'Ivoire. If Nigeria doesn't choke with all the good quality talents they have, it's them without a doubt. I have a feeling Ivory Coast might win be- just because Nigeria is very attack center heavy and also one like striker heavy. The, the rest of the players aren't exactly that coordinated. I don't know what the manager is doing with the team, but from what I've seen, they're just like they're, they're like really relying on this v- is, Victor Osimhen. This is what I believe. Even though Nigeria doesn't give a necessary penalty like they did last time they're winning. Right. Like before the Eagles, they used to have like really uh, talented like all around like in all uh, positions yeah. in their squad. My, right now, it's it's just strikers. You got Victor, uh, Victor Boniface who, <laughs> who is injured so he's out. Victor, Victor Osimhen, both yep. fucking Victors. <laughs> Victor <laughs> so duo with one out. a bunch out. of strikers there. Well, they had one player in past who was really good. I forgot his name. JJ Okocha? Yeah. He was, JJ Okocha, he's one of the best He was African a baller. Ever. Oh my god. I don't know. Essien. Is Essien Nigerian? Well, biologically, yes. I, I, I wouldn't know. Hold on, let me check real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the thing, though. He's Ghanaian. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Come on, Yoruba um, tribe. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, though. Jeju Okocha was like the Ronaldinho of Africa to me. True, true. He was such a big baller. Oh my god, I don't know and how he didn't Ivory get Ivory Coast. Him. I'm gonna be honest. I only know one player, and he's already Drogba. retired. He's there, Drogba. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> no, they have few good players recently. For, I heard for, about but right them. now. What? Are, I think what, like Fofana? I, oh, that's, I think, I think yeah, Fofana or something. I forgot the name, but they have few good players right now in the Europe. Mendy, right? No, that's from Senegal. Yeah, Never mind. Me- Senegal Mendy's has a, real, a lot of good players. Senegal got they're knocked not, out. They're not in anymore, yeah, exactly. So I, I, don't, I don't exactly know many good Ivory Coast players. Uh, I've seen a, some, seen the guy who scored. Can't, can't pronounce his name, so... <laughs> <laughs> let it be that. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, so no, yeah, I, I think Nigeria has a chance, but I'm I'm a, I'm gonna have my uh, uh, chances on uh, Cote, Cote d'Ivoire, Cote. Ivory Coast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see who wins it. Right. I this Nigeria reminds me of this dish I saw online, and I it just scares me still this day. Hmm? Like in Nigeria, I saw mm-hmm. this dish. So it's about. They're gonna like uh, they literally don't 
clean a chicken. They don't clean a chicken fully and they, they cook it. I don't know what the fuck that was. But uh, whatever. Bro, I've seen some weird shit on Instagram reels. Like, uh, <laughs> have you seen the those? Like, I think they're brother and sister. They just like eat really hot like African shit. I, I don't even know. Like, they go like Bismillah and they just start eating. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, uh, bro! One time I saw them eating like a. I don't. I don't. Know. It looked like a monkey skull, bro. <laughs> oh my! Okay, and there's like a bunch of intestine. Now. I'm like, no, bro. Why are you eating intestine? It looks like a dick. Okay, let's let's let them slide. If we're gonna get canceled for this, it's not even canceled. I'm just saying. That's what I saw on Instagram Reels. <clears throat> and if you know what I mean, I know you've probably you're... seen these. I yeah, those yeah. are regular in my Reels. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This fufu. <laughs> oh my god. You know fufu? Yeah. It's like a dull thingy. Yeah, it looks very raw. I'm not sure, bro. They 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 eat it with like jewel or whatever. I know, but like it looks very raw. They eat it with a stew, but it's it looks very raw. I uh, bro, just African food just looks like it's boiled. That's about it. Yeah, but I want to deny one thing. They have the special spice mix that is actually really. Obviously, I'm not like like marginalizing it. There's obviously a lot of good dishes out there, but the ones you see is there. Like really are, there up. are a lot of good African dishes. Yeah, especially. You can say the same with like some of some of the foods uh, foods we have as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh the, yeah! Oh my god! And like, we won't even mention China, bro. They're eating crocodile and cockroaches, bro. I'm they a, eat raw dogs if they can. Oh my god! They eat infant. I think they're in Korea. I heard that they're banning mm-hmm. dogs. It's already banned. It's already yeah, it's banned. Yeah, it's banned. I don't know if you'll believe. I literally saw it's a tradition in China. If you want to look young, you have to eat a dead infant baby. I've never heard of that. The fuck? Exactly. Crazy. Imagine. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm old. I'm old enough now. I got wrinkles. Hold up. Let me eat a uh, real quick. Uh, infant. Infant baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> they make a soup out of them. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Let's let's baby let that soup. slide now. Oh, there was this uh, movie that I watched. Uh, what? Haji- it's an Austrian film. Wait. Hold up. Let me just pull it up real quick. Okay. I watched it like last year or before that, and I was just like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" Hagazuza, Hidden's Curse. That's the one. I never heard about that, ha- but I'm happy I you, didn't hear about that. You shouldn't. In, in this movie, basically, without spoiling it, <coughs> a lot of you know possession stuff happens, devilish stuff, right? Okay, let's. And, and so it's near the end of the movie, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she gives birth to her infant baby. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. She doesn't give birth. She already has one. Uh, so it, in the later half, she um, drowns her infant baby and made her and like, resurrect in, a, in, a, in like a fucking pukur, you know, like a pond. Oh my god! And did it like? And a- she she's like going through some fucking trippy shit, man. And she returns to her home. This is like really rural, rural, right? Like yeah, maybe like the fourteen hundreds or something like that. It's really <laughs> old. That's the setting. And it's like uh, snowing and all that stuff. And she's like going through some fucking episode, bro. And out of nowhere, she's cooking her infinite baby. I thought she I thought she downed it. So she's literally like <laughs> she, she she cooked it. And I think she ate, ate, ate like a soup as a, as a soup. And then she vomited it out, and then movies. It's a bad movie. I'm gonna uh, go. Let's, 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 let's let the slide out. Let's let the slide. I don't <laughs> think. I don't think the viewer wants to hear about that. <laughs> no one wants to listen to that. But you can check it out if you're like a cinephile like me. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna let <laughs> just that watch slide. anything. I should. It's fucked up, though. <laughs> no, okay, let's. Uh, okay, so back to football. Premier League. Yep. Yes. Do you know what happened? Arsenal. They actually won. 3-1 against Liverpool. While well, Jurgen Klopp was laughing on that their loss. Bro, I saw I saw the match. Uh, <laughs> they were like 2-1. Like, Ar- Arsenal were 2 and then Liverpool were 1. The guy is just laughing. Man, no, I'm not and dealing with this shit in the next few months. He's like, uh, he's like I'm good, bro. You, you guys are still not going to win <laughs> the league. <laughs> <laughs> Cardio is here, don't worry. Guardians gonna Guardians took me back. Kevin De Bruyne is back. Holland's back. <laughs> oh my and god! And also, after bro, the third goal was it? 
Was that the third goal? Yeah, the, after the third goal, he was literally laughing and no, walking. No, no, no. The, yeah, it was the third goal. The yeah. Allison and Van Dyke. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, what, what did I just see? I just, well, I, I, I watched it slow motion. I, I think Allison tried kick. to kick the ball and then he, he back heeled Van Dyke's ass. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. <clears throat> I saw that also. I was like, oh my fucking god! It was. I was like. Uh, uh, and then, then they showed like a slow mo version of it as well. And Van Dyke's like not even looking at Martinelli, and Martinelli's like fast as fuck. And he kind of just lets the ball go for a reason. I don't know why he did that. And then he tries to sprint with Martinelli. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he's not even looking at the ball. He's looking at Allison charging at him like a fucking rhino. Misses the ball completely. I don't know how the fuck do you do that as a fucking goalkeeper. That's literally your job. Man Block. stripping, man. I don't know what he was like. <laughs> Bro was trying to be Ederson. You know what? I was like, let me, let me get into the midfield real quick. He was trying to be Man United's goalkeeper. He did Ederson. that sometimes. Yeah. Uh, the chaotic match, man. It was. Well, a crazy I wouldn't say match. chaotic. Just Arsenal just fucking overwhelmed Liverpool. The Liverpool probably gave them false hope so that they get hurt later. But yeah, yeah, Jurgen said, "I'm tired," and <laughs> your Liverpool was like, "Yeah, me too." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Sar, I'm your, I'm your. Don't plan to hate you, sir. But the next match was really good. The Tottenham versus Everton. What would you say about that? Uh, it was going <laughs> so well. Like, Richie, bro, he's he's on form. I, he knows. I never thought Richie Wilson would score that goal, the one I saw in the highlight. Me neither, bro. Bro, I, all I've seen from Richie was offside goals from last season, right? <laughs> I didn't watch Everton before when he was like, you know, Here's scoring. the thing. Okay. Even though Richie scored a good, uh, good amount of goals in the World Cup, I wasn't impressed by his goals because it wasn't against top yeah, teams. Yeah, me neither. I was like, the bicycle kick, which was you know, really <clears> impressive. <throat> I get it. But it could have also been, you know, Here's the thing. not gone in. You if know you I mean? put bicycle kicks out of 50-50. My almost. brother, if you put one of the top defenders in that situation while he was scoring the bicycle kick, they would have intercepted. I mean, they played against the, Serbia. The ball. Can you name one Serbian player? Uh, something. Exactly. Uh, somebody with the. Uh, somebody with. <laughs> K, ending with KIA. H. Or H. No, H. H is for Croatia. For I mean. Well. Croatia is like Modric, Rakitic. Well, well Poland. Yo, we, we all know who Poland is. Ski. Exactly. And for like. As far as I know, for Serbia, it's KIA at the end. I'm not sure about it, but I think it's. Yeah. The fuck? No, yeah. Milankovic Savic. What? He's Serbia. Pretty sure. B- nah, Brozovic. I'm. I'm. I'm nah, right? nah, they're they're Croatian. What are you saying? The fuck? Brozovic Croatian. I think so. Roz, uh, Croatian. He's yeah, yeah he's Croatian. Yeah, Wait, see? Milankovic Milan. I'm not sure about him though. Savic. Yeah, he's Serbian. Yeah, Milankovic Savic. He's Serbian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in short, sure, like those region yeah, people yeah. are just itch. Sergey, Alvin, uh, Mitrovic, right? That those people, right? Anyways, that's Serbia. <laughs> we don't know the goalkeepers, so you, you know, fuck that. That's that's your childhood in in a nutshell. But this season, after he got his groin surgery, right? Yeah, he's been scoring in almost every single match, All and right. I think uh, he probably wants he, some he Harry Kane highlights to learn some shooting. He's like, yo. My goat Harry Kane, real quick. I'm no longer the pigeon. I am Hurricane. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, so I think like uh, he scored n- nine goals and uh, three assists or something like that, so, which is impressive. And usually he's scoring like a, a few tap ins and a lot of uh, headers. But mm-hmm. yeah, the, the match against uh, Everton, he scored two bangers, honestly, the la- especially the last one. I was shocked by his goals. I'm not going to catch Yeah, yeah, I showed you. And you, you're you like, what? Nah, I don't expect he's going to play this good. I One match, I'm like, okay. And second match, okay. Third match, okay. That's a consistency. And then I'm like, from okay. What I'm, what I'm, from what I've seen from Spurs, as a Spurs fan, <laughs> uh, the team looks very solid. But I think teams have already seen one weakness that have shown from the FA Cup against Man City. It's Vicario against set pieces. Meaning like corners and free kicks. Here is the he, thing. He seems to be pretty, uh, I suppose, uh, not reliable. I suppose I don't know. 
Here's Although the <laughs> one that went in last minute was like a header with Romero, and then Brad Sweat kind of touched it. Whatever. It doesn't mean here's that. the thing. Here's the thing about it. Even top teams who win UCL, they also show flaws. But it's the thing yeah. is that the flaws come in into effect a bit later. Remember mm. when Barca were thrashing every team, like when they were the Tiki Taka Prime with Pep. Pep says himself right so, now yeah, that so like, like 2008, 9, 10, not, like not 8, 9, 10, 10 to 12. The prime, 12, yeah, like prime era. 12, especially. 10 to 12, yeah, exactly. So, like, that, um, Guardiola himself says it, that if we try that football now, we are going to get scored. Like, we're fucked. Like, they're yeah, there's gonna... too many counters to it, easily. Exactly. Any, I mean, that, it I mean does... Klopp, Klopp literally came up with <laughs> Gegen pressing by the, within, within that time, and... Yeah, they be- became such a big exactly. li- live rivalry. That, that's the thing. Like, now you cannot just blindly pass anybody you see and expect to score a goal because you don't have Messi. <laughs> a lot of people say that Pep, you know, he wouldn't be as good of a, a good of a manager if he didn't have, like, the finance and the good players. Uh, this is not necessarily true because he's dealing with the pressure. Not just when, pressure. You have to consider one thing. He has to, he has to meet the pressure. He win. has the ta- like he has and he does it and he has a managerial quality to win trophies because okay he has exactly. a finance I won't that. I won't deny but yeah look at PSG look at Chelsea they spent Chelsea. so much money and Chelsea is in the same league as Man City did you mm-hmm. see what do you see them I think and, eight and or tenth where, in the and league where right is now Chelsea and where is Chelsea in the league uh not in mid table below mid table. Third <laughs> eleven, exactly. Well, we'll talk about it later. Um, Pochettino. <laughs> I think Pochettino is fine, but the Chelsea thing, ooh, it just it's like, it's a curse. Here's the thing: <laughs> Chelsea in the past few years, especially since Hazard left, they're going after, through after Tuchel, after Tuchel, Hazard and Tuchel both. Has I mean Hazard get went away way, way back? Hazard went away around 2018. That's way back. <laughs> yeah, after Hazard, they had a bad time, and then Tuchel came, and then he gave a one or two years good I mean, season, Tuchel, and look, later. Here's the thing with Tuchel, right? They didn't play that well in the league, but they won the UCL somehow. Here's the thing: <laughs> I I don't know. I don't care what people say to me. That was that they had not, like sixty percent luck in that. I would give mm. them sixty percent luck mm. in that. And the final. I, I would say that, yeah, because. The final, I don't know what the fuck Man City were doing. They just, they seem toothless almost. And, and the, 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 the fucking Havertz goal. Oh like, my god. On. To me, honestly, <clears throat> Havertz sacrificed his whole career for that one goal and winning the UCL. <laughs> he did that and then uh, his career almost fell off. I mean, the Chelsea ruined him, I'll, I'll say that. He isn't exactly a bad player himself. Obviously, he came out from Leverkusen, which was pretty good. Were- Timo Werner, same same with Timo Werner. <laughs> Remember when he was really good? Now he's in he Spurs somehow. Crazy. I don't know. He has two assists, I think. Now, Timo. I'm which, not sure. Which I didn't is, him. Is, dude, that's already better than Anthony. Costing what? 100 million? hundred million, eighty million. Anthony, I don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what to say to him. Man, <laughs> literally, United players like try to be violent outside the field but inside the field if they're vi- a bit violent with their pressing they would like lose less uh, like m- less matches you get what i mean english i know you mean <laughs> like they I mean, wouldn't they, lose so many matches because like they won against west ham the other day and west ham are pretty good right now i don't know what the fuck happened there um three three zero i think and hoyloon scored hoyloon yeah he's scoring <laughs> Man's crazy, man. He's actually not a bad player, but he needs a lot of time. He he's only twenty, so yeah, it's fine. Like if anybody expects I him mean, to he, challenge well, Holland, it's not gonna happen. The short time that Man United spent in the Champions League, Ho- Hoyland was had what five goals, so he's he's not bad at all. I think he just kind of got unlucky, and also just the system that Ten Hag plays with. Ten Hag is like. I he's a good coach, but I don't know. I think the pressure is getting to him because I don't know what he's doing in the Man United. It's I mean, just he's, crazy. he's been there for what, a year and a half now. I was shocked when he didn't play Sancho for so long. That's the part we just Sancho's gone. I mean, yeah, he I know, said I know. in an interview that 
like you know you know like Marcus Rashford did did something as well like some club stuff. Uh, Here is I, I, I don't know I don't know the detail, but he did that. But uh, what Ten Hag said was like they figured out without going public. Here is the thing. Sancho went public. That's that's it. My brother, here is the thing. And not everybody will be as well behave as Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard, are, like they, everybody gives his example that he's a very well behaved player from a young age. Mm. At this era, youngsters will always be a bit rebellious. You cannot do anything about it. Literally, more you know, one of the like I would say strict coach. He handled players so well. The youngsters, mm. he, he changed he his way. Them. Exactly. He changed his way of tactics because he knows that he cannot be like that strict with them. But I feel like recently Mourinho hasn't been able to do that because players are so rebellious now. Exactly. For and example, also clubs have become. I don't know. The, the right word for me would be they become pussies. Uh, actually, like there is no kind of. If you know what I mean, I like, know, they I don't want to risk. They don't want to risk what Mourinho is trying to build. Now I understand Mourinho kind of ha- has been falling off. Let's see, look, like Roma is a good, well, a good example of that. He's been falling off. Here is a thing. Um, if he, he shows brilliance sometimes as well, but his brilliance also comes with red cards. Here is the thing about Mourinho. If you manage a club which doesn't have consistency, and if you bring in consistency, there will be times when they will perform a bit bad. You cannot judge a like coach on based on that. Mm, I don't know why Roma. Wow. Roma won the first European title under Mourinho. How do you exactly ju- like? Oh my god! I shouldn't have. I, I get that the, he didn't what win many matches. I think nine losses or something. So I get it, but yeah, it's Mourinho. Here is the oh, thing. Man, here is a special a, one. <laughs> my brother. Here is the thing. We're losing a match necessarily isn't the coach's fault. Players also has huge impact on that. Players also have a huge uh, impact. But if you're talking about the owners, the management, they always think about the managers because they're the most liquid, liquidative option to like sack, to True. please people. I feel like Roma doesn't exactly spend <coughs> exactly a good amount of money, especially for the defense. Moreno, I don't know their goalkeeper. <laughs> Here's the thing: I only know one of the defender. It's Smalling because I had Smalling. This, he, yeah. he came back after what five months or so. I, I saw the news as well. Smalling just came back. Like also, I, I know Smalling because of his name. That's it. I know <laughs> Smalling because I had his card in FIFA, and he was a very average card. <laughs> Duh. But he, uh, like, I feel bad for Mourinho. He rejected um, big, big offers from Saudi just so that he can manage Roma. It's so sad. Right. Let's move on to our next match of the week. Well, in- interesting. I don't, I don't want to fucking talk about every single match. So, Newcastle versus Luton Town. Now, you would expect Newcastle to win. But guess what? It's a draw. 4-4. Eight goals. I feel like they're Crazy. missing Tonali a lot. Or did Tonali play? So, Sandro, Tonali, yeah. I mean, bro, what's up with these betters, bro? <laughs> or gamblers. Oh, my God. Uh, fucking Brentford's uh, Ivan Tony came back. If Tonali well. wants to gamble, he should try FIFA. He will get the most legal gamble available right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, CDM-wise, who's playing CDM? Gumar- Gimaraj? Bruno Gomez plays CDM, but he's a bit aggressive sometimes. I think he's mainly a center <coughs> man, and then Longstaff <coughs> is there as well. Longstaff scored some pretty good goals that day. As well. They also have Gordon, also who's sometimes good. Gordon is actually really great. Gordon, I think he's really good. He's very fast. I don't always like prefer fast players. I prefer dribblers more. <laughs> I mean, he is a winger. Well, that's why he should triple more. He's, he's good though. He's good. He has the answer. He's good. Like he will Isak is there as well. Isak is a good uh, finisher, in I, my opinion. He's good, but I mean, coming off of I feel like he should do a bit more better for the. I don't know. He was doing really good in La Liga. I expected him to do way better in Premier League. No, he was in Bundesliga. Well, oh no, yeah, he, was he, La was, he was in La Liga. He was in La Liga, but the Dortmund he was better. Hmm, could be, but. To me, I feel like he has more potential. I don't know what's gonna happen in future. I think he just needs a little bit more time to settle. I mean, he, not settle in, but like just play with the system. And also, Eddie Howe, I think he's kind of falling off. I don't know. Newcastle, 
needs a proper Obviously, foundation. New, Newcastle on beginning of the season, perfect team. I think eight wins in a row, something or six wins in a row. I'm not sure, something like that. Really good. And the UCL, and they were also playing UCL, so that hit. They got injuries. They injuries. require like. A proper foundation that can they rely on any time of their season, and that's what they're lacking right now. Like Trippier, want to get them wins with free kick goal every time. It's not cool. Right, right, true that. And I feel like I mean they have Isak and Wilson, but I, you know how like Man City, another like you know, oil oil money club. Yeah, they have literally, Holland, lit- Julian Alvarez, right. They even even got Foden fucking scoring a hat trick the other day. Like, come on, man. They, they see, have little, they have the depth and the, the Oscar Bob. Who the fuck is Oscar Bob? He, he even scores. <laughs> oh my god! Literally, Garzillo came out saying that he's the biggest talent that he has ever seen. Like Foden. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god! I literally saw. He's, a, he's <clears> an insane <throat> dribbler. I've seen. Like, he's, I'm very impressed with Foden. Yeah, I saw a post of like puberty. Of with that, and on the background there's a picture of Messi. I'm like, they're trying to just start an argument. <laughs> oh, I remember during the World Cup, um, the draw against the USA, the you know England versus the USA. Yep. Bro, I was like, what the fuck? And then Southgate was like, I didn't deploy Foden for for yeah yeah any reason. I'm like, why wouldn't you? You use, I think you used uh, Rice or Gallagher, uh, and like why? Oh, Henderson. Sorry, Henderson. I have no <laughs> idea. Bura, by Bura. Agdom, by literally. You know where Henderson is now? Uh, Saudi Pro League, but he's leaving to Ajax. He's already left. He's already played his first match in the league. Ajax, Come on. oh my god. He didn't even... You know what happened with him in Saudi Pro League? I think he just didn't like it. He didn't like it because he couldn't be as open. He could have been in England. Like, here's the thing. If you right. if you go to a country, you have to respect their rules and everything also. You cannot just do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, and then he went to Ajax. And for and some reason, he his shirt is the most highest selling shirt. <laughs> Ajax is what? literally what? on the verge of death, obviously. They will. That's on the verge of relegation, bro. What the uh, fuck That's equivalent doing? to death, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Cryf is like somebody killed me from heaven. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't want to see Ajax. I said enough of a fucking Newcastle, Luton Town. I'm impressed by Luton Town, but what they do? Uh, yes, they lose, but that's basically mainly because they just need they that don't extra have finance. Of Luton Town. They don't. Like, they move, have you seen their stadium? Yeah, like I saw the picture. Like I league. was like, oh my god, it looks like a. It's, it looks <laughs> like a shady dark alley or something. It I'm looks, like, I'm it not. It looks like there. Sunday league, Sunday league football man. They look worse than Sunday league football man. They look <laughs> like the shady dark alleys. If you go there, you're gonna get mugged. I, I actually like Luton Town. I think, um, if they had just a bit more like depth in their squad or like one or two players who were just key. I think they would be better than Chelsea. To be honest, I should play Luton Town in Premier League in career mode and see if I can make the win oh, yeah? at UCL. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I actually really like some of the you know, players, especially the Le, Kaminsky, the goalkeeper. He's, he's decent. <laughs> um, Ogbené, very fast. You saw that clip, right? <clears throat> yeah, I saw uh, that. Adebayo, he's a very good finisher. Adebayo, I think he played... Ross Barkley, he's good as well. Yeah, but another thing about Luton Town is I don't know if you knew before the Premier League started and when they got you know championship, like when they just qualified to Premier League. Yeah, yeah. The when the Premier League, League management came and they saw the stadium, they're like, "You guys will get relegated if you guys don't fix the stadium." Right. I am capping with the league. That was the first thing they heard. I think I heard that too. <laughs> I think I saw that on some Facebook post. E- Not Facebook. I don't. Know. It's Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, but thank God they did better. I am actually happy for them. Yes, they're probably going to get relegated, but they don't deserve to be because for what they have done, I'm impressed. Well, they got the necessary finance for their, you know, The only season. shit team is Burnley and Sheffield in, they have in been, every way. They have been shit every season. I don't know how do they even qualify for the Premier League. I don't get them. Yes, Burnley played well in the championship, really well under Vincent Company, but... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. <laughs> they have no company anymore. Uh, no more company, yeah? Yep. Anyways, Luton Town, very, very uh, surprising. And also, really, really like their uh, club. Doing really well. Yep. Chelsea. 
Sanzago we're the, talking about? The, uh, the, 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 the opposite of Luton Town. We go to Chelsea, oh. one of the richest clubs in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Spending one billion on transfer window. <laughs> if you have like an owner. And then what? No, no, no. We'll talk about the FA Cup later. We'll talk. Let's talk about the Wolves one. Oh my! Um, two four against Wolves. Wolves winning the game with the Cunha hat trick. Cunha hat trick. I was actually anyway. shocked. Isn't Cunha yeah. like Portuguese? As far as I can say, he's Brazilian, from what I remember. Is he half Portuguese? Because Wolves have a obsession for Portuguese players, as far as I know. Ruben Neves. Uh, Pedro Neto, Ma- Matias Nunes. They buy a lot of Benfica sporting players, I think. Are the cheap or Porto something. players? They buy they buy, they buy a lot of those. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Pedro Neto, bro, he is so underrated. If he, when he's fit, super good. He he had the highest assists when before he got injured. So yeah, he's so so good. Well, uh, I feel like he will get a big move in future. Yeah, yeah. Pe- um, Man City, I think, wanted Neto. Yeah, then, yes, he, they did, they did. his contract. I think his contract was uh, not ending yet. And so another reason that. was that Man City got a better alternate. I forgot who it was. Like they got unsatisfactory. Doku, Doku, yeah, Doku, 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 Doku. Yeah, Doku is being off. You can't deny that he's doing yeah, he's really a speed good. dribbler, man. It's crazy. Man, like man, literally. But I feel like if you want solid assists, Neto is better. He's a bit older as well, so definitely, experience. Definitely, Doku is yeah. still a very young. Doku, I think um, Pep got him because it's future proof in some ways. You could say. Not is, not just well. that. Another thing, Doku is that um, you cannot you cannot want your top players to pace. play every single match. You get it? Like, pace and dribbling, bro. Oof. Exactly, and Spanish uh, people love uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> they want it quick and special. Impressed by Wolves, they're in top ten. They could be, you know, they could be nine as well. Brighton and Wolves are pretty close to each other. As far as I West remember, Ham. Wolves used to be like top eight or like six in pass. Right? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. And Wolves, you know, they they may not look like that strong in recent years, but they were one of the big. They were they they, they were like the guys in. They the were 80s. the underdogs who the used to slay the, the big teams. Yeah, yeah, they were the guys in the eighties. Yep, that's from, from what I know from the the eighties. Yeah, so there's that. Okay, now we can talk about um, the FA Cup, Chelsea. Well, mean? I don't understand what Chelsea do. In the league, they're fucking shit. Eleven, <laughs> FA Cup, they're they're charging for the fucking cup. Then the Enzo Ow. goal, oh my god, what is Enzo goal was fucking crazy. I'm gonna be honest. Like I just saw, you know, at first I didn't even see the video. I just saw a few pictures, and that just sh- blew my mind off. I'm like. What did I just see? Yeah, I saw like uh, I, I just got on Instagram and I saw Fabrizio, and I saw Enzo there as well. I'm like Enzo, the fuck? And then the score sheet, Enzo scored. I'm like, okay. And I'll, that I'll was like, uh, like you could say that was a uh, and and it's like an Aston Villa. Exactly, and not just that. He gave a proper Una comeback Emery. towards all the rumors that he wants to leave the club and everything. Like that was a proper comeback. Yeah. Like he ain't leaving. I'm here. Yep. Yeah. Do you think Aston Villa might have a downfall? Well, not, not not downfall, just like fall off a little bit. Well, yes, I feel like they're going through some offseason and also I won't lie about that. But they I have mean, a every, good. Everyone team. knows like they don't win many away games, and especially in the league. They've yeah. they've won every single home game or something like that. They need a team with like. Certain good dribblers and improper midfield attacks. And That's what I, I would say, say. that because they have Tiabi and Watkins. No midfield attack. Tiabi is a winger. Mid- midfield is pretty good too. They got McGinn, Leon Bailey, people like that. Oh. No, 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 not in that sense. Like if oh, you look into Diego, Diego Costa. No, no, not Diego Costa. What the fuck? Diego Douglas Costa, Luiz. Diego Douglas Costa. Luiz. <laughs> Douglas Luiz. <laughs> He's really good. He's. he's nah, I dope. feel like sometimes they should be a bit more aggressive towards their midfield push because if Maybe, you look yeah. into a few the top quality midfielders who actually succeed, they primarily mm. succeed because they can take on one or two players and push the ball. You know who Aston Villa should buy? Paulinho. Um, Paulinho? From Fulham, yeah. 
The Brazilian or like the no 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 Portuguese Portuguese oh. <clears throat> the big one the the guy who, the Bayern wanted him. Uh, how much is price tag? Pretty high, I think maybe thirty or forty something like that. Well, for mid range prem team, those are fine. For other club leagues, those are big. He's really good. He's strong as fuck. <laughs> So I, I think, think having like a strong guy in Aston Villa would be really good because they don't exactly have the strongest players except for like who's even who's strong man come on <laughs> <laughs> no what fucking strong in personality wise Martinez <laughs> you know what was the funny part about Aston Villa when they mm-hmm. bought Coutinho due to Steven Gerrard and man got shipped back to Qatar right after like a year. <laughs> I I forgot Coutinho was in Aston Villa for a bit. Ugh. Yeah, brother, that was like uh, Coutinho ha- ha- has this one of the weirdest like transfers I- I've ever seen. Liverpool great season, Barcelona bad season, and then goes to Bayern München and then somehow scores a hat trick. He was in. pretty good, yeah. He was pretty good, decent. I I, I follow Bayern. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you guys don't know. So I, I'm also a Bayern fan. So. Yeah, <laughs> but a Bayern fan, but he chose Percy. Well, I kind of grew up with Bayern. My first ever jersey was a Bayern. I didn't even know it was Bayern. I was just like, "What the fuck is this Bayern München?" So <laughs> you're saying indirectly that you'll go to go back to your toxic ex, like the way you're going back to Spurs after every going loss. Back to Spurs after every loss, you just don't watch them for a while, and then you go back because you didn't watch Spurs for a while. I didn't watch them during Conte. Yeah, <coughs> exactly. Conte and Nuno. <laughs> exactly, going back to the toxic girl. I, technically, I didn't watch football in general in that period. I was just like doing my own shit during period, COVID COVID times. <laughs> well, yeah, COVID time was a very terrible. Idea. I think I stopped watching after Son got that puskas. You know what I mean? I yeah. literally took a break from football when I saw Messi just left Barca. That just broke my Bro, heart. Oh, the moment. The World Cup happened, and I watched it with everyone else. It kind of reignited my love for football again, and here I am now. World <laughs> Cup is actually Nerd. something that will ignite your love for football. In I don't oh, know yeah, how it, it's sure. just... 20, 2018 was so boring, so it didn't exa- exactly ignite anything. So there's that. 20, 20, 2022. <laughs> that was best, best World Cup ever. Except for 2024, 14, 14 is my goal. I'm a Germany fan, so. <laughs> oh my god, 2014, Messi carried Argentina to the final. Bro, that's... the final. It's kind of sad what happened, but hey, we'll take the win. Well, I feel bad for him because of free kick that he missed. Everybody blamed it on him, but you cannot blame him, man. He, he how, mm. was, how old was he that time? I even forgot. Uh, right now, it's 20, he was about 25 or 26. Yeah, like at that age, carrying your team to the final, what else do you want? Mm, and like, Higuain. Ah. With Higuain in there ah. as your main striker, when Aguero is a sub, like, oh my god. Aguero is a sub, oh, so sad. But hey, you won the World Cup. Anyways, do you know uh, Neil Mopai? Mm-hmm. Do you know Neil Mopai? Yeah, I heard about him. Yeah, Brentford's player. Yeah. He is... Bro, he, he thinks he's so good or something, man. He, th- he thinks he's some big player, bro. Who the fuck is Manuel Mopai? The only reason I know him is because he was uh, copying Madison's uh, ch- celebration. <laughs> and then Madison paid him back, right? Or something. Paid like him that. back? Well, they won the, they won the match. <laughs> exactly, paid him back. <laughs> <laughs> so shut the fuck up. Oh, he, oh guess what he said, uh, Madison, after the match? What? He said... He, he he tried to copy me because he doesn't score often. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Oh my god. And I was like, oh shit. Bro's a savage. Man, just and then I think him. he scored against Man City the other day. And then Phil Foden was like, just let me cook real quick. Let me show me show you my inner messy real quick. <sighs> you know what I mean? Hat trick. <laughs> it was really fun when I saw that. I'm like, really photo. impressed with Foden. He's so good. I'm really interested to see him in his prime. Like, I don't know. They what should, they should do. start him for England Euros. Bro, I want England to win the Euros, but what the fuck have they been you doing? Guys need to of, get so so even here's the thing. Even if you get Mourinho in the team, you're probably going to win the Euros. Why Mourinho? Because South, it's, anything is better than Southgate. Southgate is a fucking politician, bro. He, 
<laughs> the way he speaks, the way he approaches everything, is so basic. I you hear me, dude, dude, dude. You you should win everything with that team, even if you're mediocre, right? Exactly. So people who praise South great, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, he came from fucking Middlesbrough. Who the fuck is Middlesbrough? I know Middlesbrough. But like, you know what I You know them from <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> Dude, I would rather get Jesse Jesse Marsh, the fucking American coach, to uh, coach, um, to manage uh, in England. Man was like, he didn't he fail recently somewhere? Who? Jesse Marsh. No, no, no. He's he's like top of the Champions League or something. Except for like, obviously, um, what's, what's their name? Leicester and Southampton, they're they're always going to be good. But so, but you know what? In Middlesbrough, he's he's uh, in Middlesbrough, I think. Oh, Jesse Marsh, he's 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 good. He, he was in Leeds back in I don't know I don't know how long this was. But he no, was I think it was after he left. Uh, what yeah, the yeah, other after, Leeds he was in Leeds. Leeds, Leeds yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think he filled at Leeds. That's why he got sacked. That's all, that's what I remember from his part. I'm glad he got sacked because in the championship he's showing his quality more. No pressure. Like when he goes to like a second division or like a third division, you don't have that. Much you can pressure. learn more. Yeah. yeah, less pressure and you learn more as well as a as a coach. And Jesse Marsh is like not even that old. He's probably in his forties, maybe early forties. A man has a lot of him. He's the next yeah, he novel. Can, he can learn a lot, and especially for an American coach. Like you don't see that. Exactly. Like Nigel so versus cool. Jesse Marsh in future. Yeah. So yeah, Brentford, bro, I, I don't know what's wrong with Brentford. You know Ivan Tony, right? Yeah. What the fuck? He came back from a gambling, uh, gambling, issue, whatever, right? Ban, gambling ban. Okay, ban, whatever, ban. Nine months, cool. He comes okay. back. He comes back as if, like, he has an injury. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 what was it? I fucking forgot. He said something like, <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll show you guys or, um, but I don't know what he, he was being very nonchalant for no reason, bro. He, he came back from a fucking uh, in short, he's just thing. making stupid reasons even though he didn't have any. Proper yeah, then, and then Brentford's like hyping him up, and then in the meanwhile, Ivan Tony he wants to leave the club. Hello, hello. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What the day I saw English people were hyping Thiago Silva being better than Messi. Not Thiago Silva. What am I saying? Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! What am I saying? <laughs> what are you? What are you saying, bro? The Spanish Thiago. It. The Spanish Thiago. Liverpool. I forgot it's uh, Thiago Alcantara. Oh my god! I. Oh. You know, I saw news today that he was going to um, play against. Uh, I think maybe Everton or something. Whatever he was gonna play, but apparently he got injured again. Yep, I saw thing. the news also. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> but when I when I saw English fans were hyping Thiago Alcantara when he came to Liverpool first, saying that he's better than Messi, he's I not was better than Messi. I mean, I, even Messi. Uh, Rates Thiago Alcantara really high, but if, if you see that interview, we, but how can you compare him to Messi? It's just like the like, like fan base, you know what I mean? They they they'll like say anything is better at this point. Literally, when I saw those English fans saying this, I was like, nah, they're the like the the Karens of football. I'm not if you can't uh, go word. to the La Liga watcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was La Liga. I love La Liga a lot more. I used to like La Liga, but right now it's obviously not not as good. I won't care. Yeah, I won't. If deny you want to watch football, it's Premier League. That's uh, I won't deny that. La, like as long as we have that, like you know, the tables. You guys shoot. have Real Madrid, Atletico, and <laughs> Barcelona. Well, we have few other good teams, but they are falling. But off. they, I don't. They're, they're falling off. Yeah, they they didn't even win the. For World example, this time. Sevilla, Villarreal, they were actually good. They were genuinely good. But they fell off. Yeah, they, they got Villar- some quality. I mean, that's that's what they After got. After Unai from. Emery left, Villarreal fell off. Fell off. Yeah. And at, least, at least he went to like Aston Villa, which is doing pretty good. Exactly. Unai Emery masterclass. Man is having a really good career now. Yeah. After a failed attempt at Arsenal. Who the fuck likes Arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I like Thierry Henry, so don't worry. Oh yeah, Thierry Henry is one of my goats. He's funny as fuck with CBS I, I I love his, you know, shows with CBS Glass. Oh my god, I watched so Titi. much. 
Oh my god, man. I'm Jamie Carragher. No, that's not. Mm-mm. I, I, you can hold that. Like, <laughs> Jamie Carragher. Check it out. Oh my god. Man looks like he played like very, like, you know, longest time ago, but he actually played like I think 10 years back, Jamie Carragher. He, oh, fun fact about uh, Jamie Carragher. He <laughs> has the highest appearance of an English player in the UCL. Highest? Yeah, 150 caps in the UCL. I thought it's going to be somebody else. What? Me too. It's Ryan Giggs, but he was like, he's Welsh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I would expect like a striker, but uh, yeah, Jamie Carragher. Hendrick sense. Walsh. <laughs> Jamie Carragher, he's from Liverpool or Everton. <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's in that area. Yep. You know who's, uh, who's also from Everton? Rooney. When Rooney, my brother. Bro, Prime Rooney? Crazy. I have his card in my FC24. I know you do. Yeah, with the headband? Yep. He's uh 89 rating card mm. and he's so good. Okay. What's it called? Skinhead Bruni? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the, you know, the cartoon shows I told you about earlier. When yeah, yeah, yeah. Man United was having a hard time, they made Rooney Hulk version. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was at his end of his career. Obviously, he won't be that good anymore. He, he ain't that good as a manager either. But bro got sacked with... As Rooney a husband Rooney either. <sighs> You don't have to salt. You, get, you don't have to put fucking salt in the wound, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That was funny <laughs> as well. I mean, you know what I'm speaking. And Kyle Walker is another, another one. Oh my god. You uh, heard his stories? Oh yeah, I think I saw like a magazine, the cover of Kyle Walker. What was what happened? Okay, so Kyle Walker, um cheated on his wife with somebody mm-hmm. and she has a daughter now a daughter son i don't know crazy. like a child crazy bro is a bastard yes bro is a bastard <laughs> 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 and neighbor is another one oh my god literally some Dude, bolivian is... oh my this bolivian girl came out recently him, man he, yeah he fell off really bad Big time. Like you, were, I don't know if you'll believe me. A recently, Bolivian girl came out saying that she, her, like son or daughter, is the son of Neymar, and she's running a DNA test through the court. Damn. And if if she actually succeeds, Neymar has to pay a few million dollars to them every year. Well, it's you know hand change for him, but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how many accounts are you gonna open? <laughs> It's, it's the custody thing, right? <laughs> yep, he will get zero custody, but he has to pay money. Right. Oh my god. So, VAR, what do you think about it? I would say that it's the most, like, easiest way to get, like, a, you can just change a match easily with unfair, you know, decision with VAR. I understand the existence of bar, but the way the officials are handling is very. That's suspicious. why I'm saying it. Like you give the power to the wrong person. The the, re- the referees, I think they're fine, right? It's the people behind the scene. Like it's what the like, fuck are they doing? It's like there is a secret gamble going behind the scenes where the highest Almost, bidder yeah. gets a decision. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> imagine the Aston Villa ones. Like when they beat Arsenal and Man City, mm-hmm. the highest bidder wins it. <laughs> wins a decision. <laughs> Is it a foul or not? Who will bid? One million. Okay, you win. It's a foul. <laughs> the the infamous goal with Jujutor Tottenham versus Liverpool, the first match. Oh my god, <laughs> Bruh. They even released like the the audio, right? <laughs> and the bro said, hey, oh, it's offside, it's offside. And then they said, no, it's not offside, but then you run it. What do you mean when you have to run it? <laughs> I don't know if you know. As a Spurs some guy, guy. Yeah. we'll take it. Because <laughs> yep. guess what? Guess what Liverpool did back in the UCL, bro? <laughs> Mane. Was it Mane? I, I don't know. It was some Liverpool player who shot the ball. He shot the ball? I don't I remember. Think, sorry, was, I think it was Mane. Uh, he kicked the ball. Um, 
No, no, no. I'm saying the opposite. It, they basically there was a handball and it wasn't it wasn't given. Mm-hmm. We could have it could have been an interesting match instead of a boring fight ACL, let's be honest. I forgot if, if, like if we scored like a penalty, it would have been two one. You guys didn't even put more Lucas pressure. Mora in your starting lineup for this ways of talking about I'm kind of sad about that because I get it. Harry Kane, he's that guy, but he was injured. Why? Why you? Why use him? <laughs> you could have used Lucas more as a cam. He, he was on the bench and he wasn't even like he, there for for rest of the match. And Man was, was like, "I am done. I hope they lose." And then he played for a few seasons and then he left. He fell off slowly later. Think he plays in the Chinese league. Does he? Probably. I think so too. I'm not sure. Oscar it might be Carter Legal. No, Oscar. Do you remember Oscar? I know, brother. He was so good. Yeah, Chelsea. Back, dude, back when Chelsea had like Brazilian. Oh my God. Uh, what was that? Oh, fucking. He, what was his name? Something Louise. David Luiz. David Luiz, yes. Oh, the Brazilian. When he, they were so good back then. They were really Diego Costa good. was there too. Hazard, yeah. Diego. That was a really insane good team. team. Insane. The, the 2017? Uh, the year when Messi Mor- defeated, took them Mourinho down. Mourinho came back that day, that year, right? Nah, Conte was there that time. Uh, well, probably Conte, yeah. Probably Conte. Never mind. But uh, the, the, fun the Premier part, League that The fun year. part was... The only, the, the only teams that won Premier League under Man City's uh, Empire... Mm-hmm. Chelsea and Liverpool and Chelsea won I think 2017 but here's the thing though that time in the UCL when they lost to Barcelona remember when due to Messi's infamous goal between court was like twice oh uh, yeah yeah that time the oh, meme talking start- about goals to goals like right like when he's your fucking likes uh, Allison hello <clears throat> <laughs> you saw that goal right Trossard which one Arsenal versus Liverpool. Oh, that one. Yes, yes. The last goal. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crazy one. But as I was saying... <laughs> uh, uh, bro, what the fuck is uh, Allison doing? Bro? <laughs> man, so, man probably spoke something before playing the game. He saw two balls coming and he chose the upper one. Mm, a very sad performance, really. <laughs> But yeah, that was a crazy match. On to our next segment, La Liga. You're the La Liga specialist, so I'll I'll, I'll talk. I'll let you talk. <laughs> Bellingham, Come on, man, you're the host, man. I am the host, yes. So we're gonna talk about Bellingham. Bellingham. Oh, you even Bellingham and Greenwood. <laughs> yeah, is that dark drama? We can't say the word, but you know what? You know what drama it is. Oh, but I mean, he just spoke the truth, man. I, so here, here's the thing. though. It's like calling a cell phone a cell phone. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. La Liga, what the fuck are you doing? Here, look. You let in a said cell phone in, but you can't call it a cell phone. Why? It's because, <laughs> like, there's it's, a it's, thing. It's business. Literally. Anything it's business. Spanish is it's highly It's business ranked. and it's protected by some really good lawyers. Let's, let's be honest. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Literally. Like he wasn't convicted. Here's the thing, so though. Like... Oh, Gaddafi just appealed it and they just got 10 band decisions something. I'm pretty like sure that. Greenwood's playing pretty well too in Gaddafi. Yeah, he's okay. actually playing good apparently. Man, uh, United, they were, United they were, right now, it's a shit. Yeah, and there were links that Barca wanted Greenwood. I was like, oh fuck, no, I, I don't that, want yeah. yeah, I I don't want him in my team. We'll never. talk about Barca links later as well. I, I saw a stupid rumor. <laughs> <laughs> Even the rest uh, of, oh, I'll keep it for the later. Uh, we'll talk about it later, you know. <laughs> Here we are segment. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the next uh, event or match, Barca versus Alaves, which is not exactly a big match, but Vitor Roque showing some sort of promise. Well, here's the thing about Vitor Roque. He played 94 minutes, he scored two goals. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the red card he got, it was a very unfair red card. Barca is already appealing true, true, for true. it. True, uh, And then there was like a um, very obvious red card in the Real Madrid match, but it wasn't given a red card. So yeah, exactly. there's some, something going on. Not the La Liga referees are so like wishy-washy, man. 
Exactly. Not just that. When I saw the match, I was like, yo, what? And honestly, Hello. about Vita Roka, I feel like in the next two seasons or three seasons, he can be a very promising starting lineup player. Because I don't think he'll score like 30 goals or like 25 goals. I mean, we, can, we can judge yet, honestly, because he has a physicality. He has good He's finishing. He's pretty wide for an 18-year-old. Yeah, like if you look into the header he scored, you can see how dominant he is in this jumping physicality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Brazilians, man. Exactly. And if you look at his finishing, like it's a tap in, but the placement, it's so accurate. Like that's what I like uh, about strikers. I don't, I don't uh, di- disrespect tap ins because they're pretty hard when the ball is just coming at you, like in what, 80, not 80, like 70, 60 miles per hour, man. It's, it's fast. Exactly. And he, he aimed it so perfectly. Not everyone was a fucking Messi Ronaldo, man. Not exactly. Exactly. That. And he aimed it so perfectly that like even the defenders were shocked. What the fuck? Yeah, Why did he you shoot? Want to like do a first touch and then aim, he would, he just like just he, aimed it, I guess. Nah, he, he, he he, he did shot. a first touch, but he acted like he's gonna pass. But he instead, he took a shot. Mm-hmm. The the like the defender was just shocked, and also the goalkeeper didn't have enough time to react. He was like, "What right. the fuck? Why is why is he shooting from there? Why? Who the fuck is he to shoot?" He's the eighteen year old from Brazil. Yeah, but is I feel like he can be similar or better than Endwick. Endrick, he's good. I mean, he won the trophy, right? The uh, last season, Palmeiras, right? Um, I'm not sure if he won. I think he did, but he's coming to Real Madrid next he season. He did win. <laughs> there was a bunch of like hype around the trophy and shit. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, he did win. So yeah, the, the, uh, with that over, Real Madrid draw against Atletico. And I don't understand. Like they they defeated Atletico. Like the I think what was it? The Super Cup. Atletico defeated Real Madrid in that. Uh, what I forgot that cup's name. Oh my god! That's uh, they played in Saudi. Yeah, the Super Cup. Was it Super Cup? I forgot oh, the name yeah. of it. I mean, they they won uh, whatever. Barca Super oh, Super de Copa Espana. Super de Super Copa Espana. De they got fucking wrecked, anyways. Barca. Junior. <laughs> 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 yeah, Here's the thing. Honestly, the photos that came out from that match, legendary with the GTA one. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, but uh, you know what I did after that match. Hola Madrid. Lit- oh, you know, oh, you know, like uh, our friends. Oh my God! Like literally after that match, oh, I was streaming it. Everybody's watching it. Right. After finishing the match, the first thing I did was I just went silent. I blocked Barca everywhere, and I just stayed like that. Everybody was on the stream and watching, and they were laughing. <laughs> that was the first thing I did. Obviously, I unblocked them because I'm cool for life. I cannot, you know, I cannot Ule. be Barca. Yep. But yeah, it was a, like a very painful match. But I feel like they're doing good in the last two matches. If you look in the team, it has a bit more stability now. Mm. Especially Real since Madrid. we can see Christiansen is playing CDM suddenly. Like it's actually working out. <laughs> I mean, Romeo is just, you know, bang average. So I feel like, like leaving Frank C and choosing Romeo was a huge mistake. I mean, start, was it start? No, I think last season Romeo was like a 7 out of 10 player all around. But then this season he's like 4, 3. Yeah. Oh, he's, he can't pay, he can't cope up with that pressure. I had doubts he will be able to cope up with the, the pressure. Second season pressure, yeah. It's high. It's really high. I mean, they won the. The league. Well, let's see. He's an ex Girona player. <laughs> well, to talk, speaking of Girona, uh, they're crazy. Dobbik, Do- what's his name? Dobbik. Do- you mean there is striker? Yeah, Dobbik. Do- I heard he might leave very soon. I did hear he might leave. Yeah, he's like but, for uh, Bundesliga. Of, want, uh, Man City has bought one of the Girona players. He's, Elvis or something like that. He's Alcaraz. also one of the top scorers also. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that did impact... Girona's crazy, man. I don't know what the fuck they're just cooking. They don't even have, like, world-class players. They, they, they literally few, like, bought our yeah, defender as a loan. From what I know. A bunch yeah. of rejects from Man City and, like, a bunch of little clubs. <laughs> Not just that. They bought our, like, you know, player on loan. And you now what, he's playing good. You know what Girona looks like? The, the sub-bench. You know what I mean? Exactly. Look at him. But they're, like, they're, but they're starting. <laughs> they had. They took in Eric Garcia, and he's doing so well. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, why why, why weren't you so good yeah, in Barca? Yeah. 
Like, oh my. There's, a, there's a lot of differences when you have a different manager. Uh, the Michael something? Uh, his name is I Mikhail. feel like the pressure also plays a huge part in them because I don't know if you know, there are a lot of really good talents around the world, but only the ones who can survive in pressure are good players. Right. Like that's unfortunate even about football. Even though it's so beautiful, it kills off so many talented players. Verona are gonna play against um, Real Madrid next week, I think. And what do you think gonna win? Real Madrid. I don't think Girona. Girona already lost against Real Madrid, and I think they're gonna yeah, lose yeah. the next yeah, one. Yeah, first, first match. It was pretty bad. I was like, well, what? <laughs> I thought Girona were gonna win because of the ridiculous I, feat they're doing. I feel like Belly Goal will wreck them. We can Belly Goal, Valverde. Yeah, Vinicius. I'm a binga. Literally, no. the belly goal was so trend in the memes. Oh my god! Anything belly goal in the oh, background? Oh, did you hear the new news? Uh, was it Nike? Nike or Adidas? It wasn't that Nike thing with the belly goal celebration. Oh, they were the ones. No, no, no! You know how like they have Jordans? Yeah, and they have the like Jordan logo. Yeah, now. They might do the belly gum. Uh, no, I didn't hear about that. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll show you real quick. Look, look, look. It's crazy. What the hell? I need to see that shit though. Belly gum. Yeah, Eddie just reportedly set to recreate Michael Jordan Jumpman logo with, with Jude Bellingham's new signature shoe. Oh my oh, god, I have to crazy. see that. But I did see this another one where CBS Golazo or uh, Micah Richards played a play match against Bellingham. You didn't see what happened there? Um, like he played online FIFA game. Online FC for game. So the challenge was where, like, if Micah Richards win, Billy Bellingham has to do Micah Richards celebration at front of everybody when he scores the next goal. <laughs> And if Micah Richard loses, he has to wear uh like a real Madrid whole jersey in one of the shows. Yeah. And mean, even the Bellingham it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's a, he's a, well, he's a city player. Was a city player. Yeah, and when like Micah Richards lost, uh, Bellingham was like, "You have to wear it fully, including mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. pants." And later he was like, "I will do a celebration. Don't worry." Oh, speaking of Xavi leaving Barcelona, what do you feel? That's a painful topic. Well, I feel really bad about it, honestly. That, like, I didn't expect him to leave so early, nor I want him to leave. I but really I understand. Yeah, I get him. I get his side because, like, real money. They're not Barca, getting the results they want. They have and, the quality of players they the did it before, but not anymore. For not just that. A lot of people don't understand that media in Spain are really bad. Like True. No, no. They're you, pretty, like, here's the thing. In you England, have a there's bad. a lot of freedom. Yeah, in like, let me tell Spain, you one thing. Not so much. In Spain, for example, you're a manager. Okay. You had a bad result. You go out with a nine-year-old daughter outside the same day because you you know you promised your daughter that you're gonna spend the day yeah. with her outside okay the uh, media people will take pictures of you guys going out and put it on the face with highlighting your daughter a nine-year-old kid they're gonna highlight her and say that she is a distraction she's the reason the manager isn't doing well for the club i'm not even capping they're that behavior. bad and worst part even if you go to like you know, if you go to, if you go to court with all of this, they they won't give much value to this kind of stuff. Mm. It's so sad. That's so why like I don't like. Spain is pretty like racist as well, like Spain? discriminatory. He, Spain has a lot of issues. The, even you know, though remember like the Vinny Junior incident. Yeah, like even though Spain is my second most favorite country to visit and everything, but <clears throat> they have you a lot of issues. Now, second most favorite country to visit. You want to visit? Yeah, yeah. I want to go to Barcelona. I heard their city is really right. beautiful. You can go to, what's it, Catalonia? Yeah, Catalonia, man. Come on, man. You see how beautiful their city is. It's actually good. Right. 
But I'll, yeah, I'll go to Spain sometime. You know, but do you know, food. like Madrid is actually a boring city. It's the capital. What are you gonna expect? Like it's just a commercial city. It doesn't have nothing <laughs> much. But if you go to Catalonia, you, oh no, nah, come on, come on. <laughs> they they have more stuff. They have comparatively more stuff. Their activities there at like. Um, in Madrid, you won't find that much activities if you compare it. Mm. But if you go to Catalonia, oh my God, that's a uh, another world. Like, right? I don't know if you know, Catalans weren't part of Spain; they got conquered. Thanks, Goda. <laughs> oh, why? A lot of a lot of things that, uh, that have been like that. Do you, do you mm. know Spain has three languages? In Catalonia, Spanish, and I forgot the another one. Basque. Oh my god! Which is kind of Spanish and French mix almost. Catalan is like thirty percent Spanish and seventy percent their own language, Italian. but in a different way. No, no, no Italian. <clears throat> there you got the thing. Well, obviously these are all like Roman uh, languages, so they're all yeah. going to be very, very, very similar. But yeah. yeah. Very similar. The Catalonia is very similar to uh, Italian for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I checked out. And there's another there's another dialect called Galician, which is in Portugal. Portugal and Spain, that area, like that, you know, the border area. Yeah, yeah. yeah that area. So Galician is quite similar as well. It's kind of Spanishy and it's kind of Portuguesey as well. These are like mixed regions, if you speak yeah, about it, mixed. honestly. Yeah, they're multicultural. Yep. Oh, uh, if Shabby leaves, Hansi Flick. Maybe well, I- yes, if Shabby has to leave, I actually want him in the club. I won't cap with that. Uh, I know Hansi wasn't able to do much with the German team, but I don't think anyone. No one would do much well, with German not team. even Guardiola will do well with the German team. <laughs> the German though- team, there's so many holes. I don't know. Yeah, Neuer is there and Ter Stegen, but they're. In their 35. The only Stegen's reliable... Like 34, here's 35, the thing. And then Manuel Neuer is 37 or something. The only it's, reliable thing Germany has right now is goalkeepers who will live by the next World they Cup. Have, they have good goalkeepers, yes. Uh, attack-wise... Sky Havertz. I guess. <laughs> well, but Nagelsmann uses him as a left-back. And he does score. <laughs> <clears throat> to me, honestly, Germany needs new talents. They need... I checked out this uh, video on why Germany is, have fallen off and what's going on. I think something happened to the youth academies. Um, there's only like one good academy right now as Leverkusen, and you can kind of tell why. Here's Leverkusen and Dortmund, those those are the only, but Leverkusen mainly. Here's the thing, since your Bayern started buying players outside Bundesliga, Bundesliga, so we're like, we're not making profit, we won't make any more academy, good academy players. Hmm. Something like that. <clears throat> and Lyricals and the are the only ones who are trying at least. Because you see, like, what, well, uh, Alderic, these players, you, you don't really know much about them, but they're, they're really contributing to the Lyricals and su- success. And we'll talk about that in the next segment with Bundesliga. Yep. Harry Kane. My boy, Harry Kane. Man is scoring goals like it's like, you know. Thursday, it's a it's a good old good old Sunday. Just strolling down the walk, just go score a goal just because you can. Uh, as of now, twenty seven appearances, uh, twenty eight goals, eight assists. Yeah, that is actually crazy. When Insane. I didn't, I knew he's gonna do very well I know in he's Bayern. Well, obviously, because he played well in Tottenham. Exactly, I knew he's gonna do well, but he didn't. But I didn't expect fan. he will do this well at this early stage of the season. <laughs> Yeah, on his first season. So I think that's just really impressive. That is actually really impressive. I didn't expect him to do good this early. Another underrated player, Sané. Oh my God. I think he's super underrated. I know everyone knows who Sané is and what he did. Uh, Man City days, yeah. But nobody really talks about Sané after that that era. And now he's in Bayern doing doing really good. And you know what he's, he's done? 12 assists. Nine goals. Son, a 12 assist. Nine goals, yeah. Man is back to his prime He's a winger. days. He's a winger. And ha- with Harry Kane involved. Oh Imagine. my god. Musiala is there as well. Doing how this did they... Like, how are they doing so bad in the league then? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, I think just Tuckle... 
the defense isn't exactly that good because the right back we have Maserati. As far as I know, Kim Min Jae is like very reliable. No, no, he's good. At, oh, Bayern kind of fell off during the the what do you call it the, the Asia Cup era. Well, it makes Kim sense. Kim Min Jae was that sense. way. Yeah, yeah, it makes kind sense. Of. And they, they they lost that big. And Obama <laughs> Kakeno is on that reliable. They lost that dream. really big uh, match against Frankfurt. Yep, and Obamakano. I don't like him as a defender much, to be honest. Obamakano. Yep, I don't like him much. Yeah, me neither. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it because of the Champions League. What the fuck? He just <laughs> slipped. <laughs> oh my god, men's like, uh, like you know when Farland Mendy chokes really bad in Real Madrid, he like he keeps his mouth open and runs like a mad dog. Ah, Rudy got. And I'm talking about Mendy, Mendy, Mendy. Dude, I love Rudiger, bro. So Rudiger, funny. oh my god. But it was, you know what was more funnier for against Rudiger? Hmm? When Rudiger tried to defend Araho from a run and Araho outran Rudiger like it was a... It was nothing. Did you see that clip? I think I showed you that clip. I think I saw, yeah. Yep. I was laughing so much because before, you know why he did that? He got to be a bit. What about well, you know why he did that? No idea. Because like he was trying to make fun of one of the players earlier, so he does do that and said, I am the real boss here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a really funny moment and it was a very interesting moment also. I was like, what the fuck, man? This turned into a prime striker. What the hell? I know, right? It was crazy. Crazy days. So, yeah, crazy stuff. Oh yeah, have you seen uh, Liverpool's in Brazil Stuttgart? Leverkusen yeah, did football. Oh my god. Bad. Uh, yes. They knocked They knocked out Stuttgart. Well, it's pretty obvious they should they do. do that. But they did give a really crazy comeback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Stuttgart was uh, as playing really good and then Leverkusen was like, hold up, l- let me cook. Xabi Alonso. <laughs> the Alonso yeah, ball. Bro, Alonso ball is crazy right now, man. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, I don't know what did I watch there. I, I I've watched a few Leverkusen games, and it's really impressive what they do. Like the resilience they show, the way they can come back in every single match. They, I think, they're the only team undefeated, right? Yep, they're the only team in Europe right now undefeated. Mm-hmm. Well, thirty we games, thirty you. games. Like what the hell? Yeah, insane. And like they're, they're trying to be the next Chelsea. Like oh, it, the Mourinho, the Mourinho Chelsea. Yep, yeah, that was. Chelsea, oh my Chelsea. god, it was crazy. Didn't the Peter Checker? Oh, I like Peter Shek. He's he's a legend. He, he man just made that head guard thing for like legendary. Oh, <laughs> like Victor Osimo with a mask. No, Literally. They- yeah, like this trend started due to him, you could say. Right. It's crazy. Xavi yeah. Alonso, do you think he might go to Liverpool once Jurgen Klopp leaves? Here's the thing. There are a lot of possibilities, but Xavi Alonso will be more attractive to Real Madrid, but Real Madrid did renew. They have Carlo Ancelotti. Yeah, they did renew him right now. They did renew him, I think. He's, but here's one thing he might do. Sabi Alonso might want to wait a bit more time and go to real yeah, that's, what, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Like, I think he wants to build a Leverkusen. Exactly. I think that's the kind of person he is. Like, he wants to you know, make. He wants to make a better champions. profile by getting them to get something like some kind of achievement, and, and then even, even if even if Bayern <laughs> like slap back, you know, they win the league. Maybe he'll win the DF. I Pokemon. don't think they can slap back this season. I have huge doubts on them. Well, Bayern. Yep. Maybe. <laughs> You know how Bayern. If it was Dortmund, then I would say yes, they would slap back. But no, Dortmund, Dortmund, literally, like in one of the seasons in recent years, they just needed to win one match out of like two or three matches, and they they, they, last season they lost because of goal goal difference. I don't know what to say to them honestly. Like, I don't know who the manager is. He just looks like 
some average guy. I don't know. I'd really like their manager from 2018-17, but they sacked Good him. Good season. Good season. Yeah, like the why did they sack him? I don't know. And Royce was like in a new level. Like oh yeah, the <clears> like cover for twenty seventeen uh, Royce and twenty eighteen Royce. Like he could slay yeah, any so team down. He was so good. Oh my god, he was mm-hmm. my he is my most underrated favorite. Player. I feel bad for him. He couldn't win any major trophy. It is sad, yeah, because he he was also injured for the World Cup. Exactly, I was like, oh, he was, sad. you know, he was in the squad for World Cup. He he injured himself for the like uh, before the World Cup training. He I know, won. I know. Okay, so let's move on to Serie A. Yep. Well, not much, not much going on in Serie A except we have Inter Milan winning against Juventus. I will say about well, Juventus, even though they lost. They are second in the league uh, compared to what the fuck they were doing last season. Terrible. <laughs> Juve is a big club. They shouldn't be fucking fifth, fifth or four. AC Milan is playing really bad this season, in my opinion. Well, the the such Maldini is expected. Yeah, Paolo, oh my god. You know he's mm. he's my wallpaper. <laughs> oh my god, he's he he was my main defender in my FIFA twenty three team. I know. Crazy, and he I was so Maldini. good. I had the prime Maldini, not even the baby Maldini. He was really good. Insane. <clears throat> yep. Shano. Hmm. I love him. Shano. Shano. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his, yeah. His free kicks and like the long pass. This is the thing about the Inter. Inter has certain players who will only play that good for the Inter. But I feel like if they go to any other team, they won't play that. What? What? Ch- they bought Channel from Dortmund, and he was so good there. I know, but I feel like the consistency they showed Inter. I feel like they can't show that in any uh, other big clubs. You get what I mean? Well, I mean, if you played under Pep, the Channel. If you played under Pep, I think you'd be really good. With the well, yeah, players. Pep can make any player good. I don't know how he has some yeah, kind yeah. of magic wand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Alvarez, who expect Alvarez to score banger freak? Bro, Alvarez during the um, injury that De Bruyne was going through, Alvarez really, really stood up. Exactly, it's like don't worry, KDB gave me his jeans. KDB, I will do what I what you promised. I will show them how to do free kicks. Oh, bro, that <laughs> one free kick. I don't know who it was against, but insane. The Curve UCL return. one, right? Maybe. It was crazy. I was like, what the fuck did I just yeah. watch? How is he scoring free kicks? At that point, I was like, you don't even don't need Doku. Just give him some free kicks. I was just thinking in my head, did like did he inject himself with anything from like KDB or Messi for free kicks? <laughs> it was crazy one. Okay, next we go on to Napoli. They won 2-1 against Verona. Here's the thing though. Napoli, Napoli. They are, off, man. they're falling. They're really falling off. But the coverage Kelly goal was Oh that 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 goal was insane. Yeah. Insane. And that dude is the reason we have this name, Shikimiki. Yeah, fun fact about the channel's name. Shikimiki. I know it doesn't sound like anything, but about Kelly. We have a friend. Have a, a who, friend yeah. yeah, he had the coverage Kelly uh, team of the season card in FIFA 23. Yep. And his name was like a bit tough to pronounce that time. So he called him coverage Shikimiki by fun. I mean, he, he knows how to say the name, but he just says, he just says he it. Just for say, like, it, it's just for humor. Like it was funny. Yeah, for humor. So he called it coverage Shikimiki. And then from there, the name came Shikimiki. And then I just kind of, kind of stole it in some ways. Yeah. yeah. You didn't, you didn't take permission from me. You don't I worry. don't need fucking permission. Oh my These God. are mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These are all autism anyways. Anyways, like, um, I don't know. Napoli's fucked up at the moment. Um, Ossiman was, he, he got a new contract, right? Yep, and he's probably regretting that now. I hope he does, because <laughs> Napoli and Syria don't even like him. Look what they do to do on fucking TikTok and also on their fucking oh accounts. Oh my god. I saw, this, uh, I saw this, like, Turam edit. 
mm-hmm. where he like he was running and then he fell off and then the editor like put him in like a bed and then. <laughs> Oh the fuck? Why would you God. do that? And then I saw Marcus Turum. He commented. <laughs> he, was, he was crying. <laughs> oh my God, man! I'll, I'll show it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> man, this crazy, man. It's fucking four fifteen a.m. We're fucking tired, but we're doing it. <laughs> Should have been earlier, but hey, it's all good. Like, Late night. I went camping. Literally, I was I was almost falling asleep around one, and then mm-hmm. I just came after a while. And I was like worried. Am I forgetting something? And I was like, Oh yes, yeah, the podcast which had started. Well, exactly. <laughs> I, here's the thing. I you know I told you it's gonna be a bit late for me. When they came, you know. I was I was sleepy as fuck, and I was like, "What the fuck? I have to finish podcast as soon as possible." Yeah, see, we in. have dedication, viewers. Please yes. subscribe, like, and share. You know what I mean? Do that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> subscribe to this motherfucker so that he pays me for this video. Yes, paying. Hope I get paid first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, Roma. They won against Calgary. This is after Bro. sacking Mourinho. But they're gonna get wrecked very soon. Don't worry about that. I mean, Calgary is what? They're like a relic. They're almost in a relic. Well, they're in the rele- relegation zone. So exactly. And Karma exactly is a impressive. bitch. Roma is gonna get hit back with what they did. Dybala's too. still Marino. playing ball, man. He's so good. Mourinho was really good. Oh my god. What did he do? Well, they should not have sacked him because, look, he, he, he's the only guy that got him the fucking trophy in what? Like years. European <laughs> trophy, the only European trophy they ever got. Exactly. And not just that, like, R- Morina rejected Saudi Pro League's one of the biggest, uh, like, contracts ever offered to a manager. Mm hmm. Just so that he can, like, you know, stay at bring- Roma. Exactly. And then they just release him because he's, you know, like a, a stagnant performance. So what? <laughs> you know what was crazy when he went Dude, to Roma when I first? Saw that he was, like, crying. Right. I was I was broken. It, it was kind of sad. I, I love Mourinho. I know. You know what I love about Mourinho? Whenever he joins a new club with his open heart. Yeah. He has his own style of entering. Like, I, as far as you remember, this one time he entered with a dress, but I was like, damn. <laughs> that's a new style. I like that. I'm the special one. I am Jose Mourinho. It's, a, it's actually the special one. Like yeah, the way the he won the USL with the Porto. Oh my god, that crazy. I am the sacked one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, yeah, he didn't get sacked from everywhere, but he's still like preferred in all top clubs. True. Everybody oh, wants actually, him for foundation. Actually, Inter Milan, he wasn't sacked. I think he just left. I don't know about yeah. Inter. It was long as time back. Well, when he joined Real Madrid. You know, well, the video is that cried. Real Madrid one? He, I think the he, Real he Madrid. Joined, he joined. Yeah, but Real Madrid one, I think he got sacked because, like, how are you gonna deal with Messi? Like, what the fuck? Oh, it, the, the season after he uh, he he got sacked. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say that it was a failure, but it actually kind of wasn't because he brought in like Benzema, Ronaldo. And he brought players. in the players who are actually playing right now also. Yeah, right, exactly. His scouting is the best, you can tell. Like, who expected Tommy Abraham to score so many goals like he did in Roma? Mm-hmm. Like, did you expect that Chelsea reject player like, to do that good? Like, I, don't, I don't think I even have to mention what he did with Porto. The, you don't even remember those players anymore. <laughs> I don't even remember a single player from that time. Exactly. They're, they're lost in history and in some ways, but, but he is Porto the Porto one. Exactly. Like, he can make a nobody really they, good. Like, look at Lukaku they, they, for they, they a spend, they, they didn't even spend that much money because they didn't even, like, they, the players that they had. Mm-hmm. Very cheap, and also came from like his old man, old team that he was um, managing back back then. Yeah, he like, in some, I don't some know of the how he, he does. Said, Trust me, and then boom, something just happened. <laughs> man, just won the UCL like UCL. He's the only guy that has all the trophies, right? 
Um, yes, he actually has, he has Europa a League. He has a conference. Conference League, league Europa League, UCL. UCL. Oh my god, he won he all the all European the titles. Well. He, has oh. a, he has one with Inter, with Real Madrid. He has and one then, with. But, mm, he hasn't played Bundesliga, so fuck that. He has one with. Uh, fucking nah, he hasn't a Premier League, though. He does. Chelsea. Wait, no, Chelsea didn't win a Premier League with, under Mourinho. Are you dumb? Oh no, they did. They did. They did. I'm dumb. dumb? Uh, how do you go unbeaten and not win the Prem? I I am actually crazy. Oh my god, I'm dumb as fuck. Yeah, you've gone off the rails, man. In my bad, my oh, yes. Oh, yes. Speaking of off the rail, I saw this weird news: Barca interest on Rabio from Juventus. <laughs> Uh, you know, somebody's smoking weed at somebody's Italy and they just made that I was like, what, what the fuck? Why would they want another fucking midfielder? They got De Jong, Gavi. We have top, top midfielder. Here's the thing. We have top midfielder prospect. We don't need somebody who will like fall off in the next few years. He, he, he gives off like Romeo vibes for me. I don't know what. He's better than Romeo, obviously. But Rabiot won't succeed in Barca if he comes. Just know that. He's a French player. Come on. Like, He's not a French player. I feel like Italy is good for him because he can yeah, have like, less pressure. That. Everything is slow. Mm. Like He's a slower player as well. Yeah, that's why. Like, it's he's good for him. He's a speed dribbler. Exactly. That's why it's good for him. But La Liga yeah, is I'm way too physical. There. I would say there. Exactly. We're, we're nearing the end of this podcast. Uh, we'll, we'll just cap it off with Mbappé. Mbappé to Real Madrid. Oh my God. Well, I knew, I knew it's going to happen. I mean, everyone kind of knew, but it's been like, what, four years now? Here's <laughs> four the thing. Six years. Here's the thing. If you're so young, you have the option to earn $1 billion for th- within three years and then go to Real Madrid and win everything. You're you're getting the both choice done with just few also, years of time. Like I mean, why not? Why don't you play, a, play some manage- man- matches with his little brother? What? Ethan, um, Ethan Mbappe? Yeah, what? Oh, even his younger yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah, he's younger. I think he wanted to play play a few matches, and then then he's now he he is actually going. But yeah, his primary. Here's the thing: before he signed his three year extension, yeah. he had two options. One is go to Real Madrid now, or not mm. free, or earn one billion USD dollar in three years, and then go to Real Madrid. After three years and win everything because you're still young. You're still he's, very young. He's, he's like what, you're 26? Exactly. He's 26 now. Okay. So at 23, you get that offer. You're going to choose $1 billion. Go to Real Madrid at 26 and win everything. Yeah. Because you're winning everything at any ways. You have yeah. enough time. Why do you care? You will take the money first at the moment. Right. And that's what he did. And he made a very smart decision. I won't deny that. Smart dishes and indeed, because the next lineup for Real Madrid is looking like a fucking power. Did you see Ronaldo made some comments about that? Mm, which one? Like Ronaldo was like, um, "I'm not sure about this news. I heard it somewhere. I think everybody has to verify whoever hears this." Yeah. But what I heard was apparently Ronaldo said that if when real like Mbappe goes to Real Madrid. Hmm. They, their counter will be so hard to handle. Even Pep will fail with his current team. I think so too. Because he's, like he's the just counter. too fast. He's just too fast. Vinny, Mbappe, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Like who the fuck even are you going to Yeah, Even Brahim. He's so good. Exactly. Jose Lee is going to leave. So let's put him off the let, topic. Let him leave. He's, he's actually quite underrated. He has what? Nine goals? Come on. Uh, here's the thing. He's just getting the petty goals outside. Even a team is performing I mean, really good. He's getting good. nine goals because Real Madrid is lacking a strike goal, striker, technically. No, no, no. I saw his goals. Majority goals came when they were already winning by good margin and he just scored an off goal. He, he scores a lot of like ending goals. You know what I mean? Like when you like finish off a match. He did score a few winning goals. I won't yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah. But most of his goals were like not that much impactful. But to be honest, you need players who can end a game. Oh well, yeah, Josie Liu was a good recruit as a loan because mm, he's in mm. the league. He's very reliable. Everybody knows him. He's so, yeah. tall, so he can do a lot of headers. Well, yeah. yeah he did his part as a loan player. He, he did his part. Now, you know, they're getting Mbappe. <laughs> yep. 
Man's Real Madrid's language. future is looking very good because you know Cruz and I think Modric is going to leave. I heard. Yeah, not Modric. Cruz is leaving. Modric is staying another season, as far as I heard. Oh, Cruz is leaving for sure after this season. That's confirmed. Okay. Oh, they have two yeah. main, so. I feel like he's gonna go to like um. Nah, apparently, I heard he's permanently retiring. Like not he going anywhere. <laughs> Is a Real Madrid legend. Yep. I think that should be enough for today's podcast. Our first podcast this is episode zero. Between a prediction, do we? Um, I think we should do that when we're like nearing the actual matches right before, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not like the podcast so hobby for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Each week, everyone just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bunch of amateurs. Nah, we're the best players in the world, Tomba. Yep, go the way. Godzell. Yep. So this was your host Godzell and my guest over here, Koda. He will be probably the frequent duo over here <laughs> with some <laughs> guests coming in. Don't worry. Uh, we have two more people in future coming. Don't worry about that. Yeah, this is a sneak peek. Two more football related. People. One Man. one just betrayed Kule like Luis Figo did. Just a heads up. What do you mean? <laughs> you don't know? Huh? Oh, okay. What's she? You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for the round of 16 predictions. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Everywhere. We love that. Oh, I would actually love that, man. I'm being full work love right money. now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the Free Kick podcast. Bye.